Do you want to build that pure bear muscle? This build uses only physical damage. It deals with crits while mauling, roaring, and shredding enemies and getting rage doing so. This build is, does pretty well all the way to where I am right now, which is around level 58. This is for patch 0 0.9. And this is like the Druid Mastery, so you get the Werebear. And this requires no minion, it's just you in bear form against the world. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so I'm gonna go over skills first. And the first thing you wanna do is Fairy Leap. This is gonna be your main DPS. And the first thing you wanna go for is this first one aspect of the Mantis. This allows you that if you kill an enemy with your Fairy Leap, it will reset, right? It will reset every five seconds, so you can pretty much hit a boss. And then if they have minions around it, you could do it again. So you could double your damage instantly. Um, obviously, you can keep doing it as well as you're killing just mobs, jumping from place to place. Um, later, you won't be jumping, but uh, I can go over that later. So that's the first one you want to do. And then secondly, you can either go either violent upheaval or regain stamina. But you do want both. But it's up to you which one you want to go for first. This one actually have a chance to reset your leap when you kill it with another skill. Okay, so this one's for itself. You, when you do Fairy Leap and then you kill something with Fairy Leap, uh, it'll reset. This one has a chance, right? This one 100%. This one has a chance that if you kill it with another skill like Swipe or Roar or something else, it will reset that as well every five seconds. But this is only by chance. So, and then up, Violent Upheaval is that it's another, it'll catch another Druid skill when you land, um, which is like a rock wave of sorts. And obviously, you could power it up later. <laughs> so, um, actually, right now, um, you can also go for vines if you want. I kind of want to just get this maxed out as well. Uh, or maybe even have a larger error and less cost. So, it'll cost less. So, this is also another choice you want to max out since I haven't. I'm not max 20 yet. So, I have, I have room to like play around. It's up to you guys. The next skill you want to specialize in is a swipe. It's going to be your main attack while your fairy leap is on cooldown it's just pretty much a secondary attack i guess and this is called zero mana it pretty much re replaces your right click which is your regular attack so um you can do this endlessly but the main thing you want to go for the first note is failing hunter right it'll give you attack speed per stack so every time you attack you do a stack because you get this aspect of the panther Every time you do attack, you get a stack, and that stack will increase your global damage, right? Um, after you get this, I will get two points in this and one point in this, and then you get the Way of the Hunt, you get the Life Leech. So it increases your damage and your Life Leech, so it keeps you alive. Um, you can alternatively get this for bigger damage and area. You don't actually have to get this, but the important one is to get the Life Leech, so you stay alive. And then after you get that, you jump back into this. I will max this out first so before this, actually. I just noticed this actually gives damage and stacks. This one just gives you stacks, right? Every time you upgrade. Um, and then you want to get Twin Fangs. Twin Fangs is good because this build requires you to dual wield. And dual wielding will increase your critical damage per stack. After you get this, you will... I got two points so far. I might actually move some of this around. But alternatively, I will max this, lower that one by one. <laughs> But you want to make sure you get rendering though maxed out because you will get that shred. You want to shred them as you're hitting. Even if they don't have physical resistance, it will still lower it, right? Um, since you do nothing but physical damage, this is going to be very important. So as you're leveling up, you unlock a third spell slot. But you didn't unlock Werebear form yet because you didn't class change. So I would do Warcry for the third one. And then once you class change, just respec into Werebear. Um, I'll go over that later. But Warcry, you want to get this Apprehend first, right off the bat, so you can pull them in instead of knocking them out, because it gets annoying at times. Okay, and um, your melee character, so you want them up close. And then you get Kinetic Stream, so you get extra, extra damage, right? Nothing's wrong with extra damage. It's because by default, it doesn't do anything. It just casts. And then next, you want to actually go for Berserker, which gives you stacks for extra damage, right? Every time you attack after you roar. Um, and then you will actually want to get fairy, fairy swipe strikes, not swipes, strikes. So that increases your attack speed. Okay. So just at least get one of this first. And then I will get ferocity, which allows you to, when you crit, there's a chance to do war cry, right? So that's pretty good. 5% chance. So you can actually end up just keep resetting your berserks. 
and then I will go and max this out. Then afterwards, I would get, um, if you want to get the heal, I will probably get some heal, or you can max out the battle cry, okay? So that would be the next game plan here. So Werebear is the main catalyst, so once you class change, you respec into Werebear, and Werebear actually uses the, the swipe skill tree into its swipe attack, and it uses war cry into its roar attack by default, okay? And the first thing you want is this Skull Crusher. It applies your Fairy Leap into Maul. Obviously, the downfall for all this is that um, it's going to increase the spell cost of Maul with the Fairy Leap and the Upheaval. Okay, so um, that's to take note of. And then you would actually want to aim for Fairy Strike so you can actually get Rage while you're doing your swiping. So this is going in turn with the Roar will give you Berserk. Right, and then after that, I will actually get in rage right here. So it allows your roar to actually get more rage. So these are all just stuff to get your rage up so you stay in werebear form. Then next, I will actually get pummel and bash. Um, since your fairy leap will reset after it kills something, right? There's a chance that some enemies will still be alive and be stunned. You can mole again, right? And you end up getting getting some rage of course you can roar and then they get stunned it doesn't do that much damage and then you just mold them down right you roar stun mole and then you get some mana back super easy i will get like one ruthless just to make the 12 percent rate decay nicer you could get more though but um i'd rather save that and bring that down here to get this armor shred and get the extra crit okay so that this would be what i would go for as a werebear um, this, I did have this before uh, with the Rampage, but this Roar that ca ca casts after the Rampage doesn't work if your Rage, your Roar is on cooldown, unlike, unlike, um, this other stuff here with, um, this thing right here, Ferocity. So that's one thing to keep a note of. So I actually want to go this way. Um, I also would like to get more of this swipes because I'll be swiping a lot. Or you get extra endurance or armor depending on how your items are and how your build is. Endurance is pretty nice. So keep that in mind. Of course, once you get low 50, you unlock upheaval. This will go in tied with your fairy leap, which goes in tied with your mole. Okay. Um, what I want to go for is the erupting earth right off the bat. Yes, it'll cost more because you get this. But it becomes your, your smash becomes more AoE rock type too at the same time. Which is good because then you can actually crit extra once you get this cr crust rupture. But first I will get this, at least Rupting Earth. Um, later on when you have more mana, you get this core maker. You do want to get this, it will be nicer. But I will get this up to here and then I will get this um, at least up to Mantle Strike. So it doesn't, they can't dodge it and then the crit will increase. Um, and then I will max this out because less mana is always nicer. Um, and then I will make my way here to upheaval just to get at least one of it into making it further. And I got one of these stacks for Tremlor after getting this um, this one point into this at least get the extra crit. Uh, so I would get Tremlor just one stack though because according to this, when you use your next fairly, which is like your mole, right? Right off the bat, you're going to end up using all your stacks. So you only need one just for that stack. Right, just to get that one stack. And if you want to go defensive, which I am, I'll get the primal bulwark, which will give you two like stacks and they give you extra armor, earth armor on hit, like when they hit you and stuff like that. So it's always nice to just have that. Um, I think my plan is right now is probably get more crit here, or I can actually get more AoE. I don't know about maybe further too, but maybe also max this out. It's up to you what you want to do, but for sure I'm getting two of this, and then I'll probably put one into this and then something else. But yeah, those are the, the skill specializations, all right? Passive are up next. I pretty much start off with just straight up damage. You want strength uh, for made more damage. So that gets you up to eight here. And then for the extra two, I went for one of this and one of this, all right? Um, obviously, you can once you get to five, you want to get one point of this. So you can start doing dual wielding. But um, for me, I did that. But I, I would consider getting this first. <laughs> And then that will unlock this. You want to max this out. And then you finish up with the Hunter Reservation as the last resort. Um, I mean, the last few points to get you to 20. And then once you get to 20, I just stop using the points and save up for Druid. 
And then I just maxed out on this because you want extra damage. That gives you to seven. And then I need three more. So I got three into armor. Armor is always nice. Endurance it gives you damage reduction when you're below a threshold, which is also good. All right. So that's that's what you want to get to unlock this foc focus rack because you want the ranker. So you get three points into this. Um, that will not be enough. So I max it out because that actually gives you more damage and reduce raid decay, which is very good to stay in wear bear form. So that gets you up to here. And I actually got two more points in this and three more points in this. So that gives me up to five here, which gives me Ranker. Ranker is an important thing because then if you haven't done any attacks or any abilities, you just stay in wear bear. So this allows you to stay there when you're just standing around. So you don't have to like be constantly decaying, right? Especially when you're just walking, right? At, from place to place. It, you're not rampaging, walking. Because rampaging is the ability. So you get this, you get that, um, and then I went for the increased crit right after because you want the life leech and the extra crit chance. All right, that'll get you unlocking this. This will give you, you want to put eight points in this that allows you to get extra strength, right? You get strength, but the eight points give you the bonus where increased melee damage per stream in bear form. So you want that. Um, and then that will give you eight. Um, you, I would, after that, would not give you enough because this is what you want to go for next, which is Rageborn, which gives you extra crit, but you get Rage on crit, which is good. You want that, so stay in bear form because you be crit. This is really crit though. You want to aim everything for crit, okay? So you want to get this, and then that won't, getting eight here won't be enough. So you want to get like six into this. This is get, this is give you strength for point. This give you a strength and a two min for point. And you get after five, you get plus one to all attributes. So I will put that in here. That will get enough to this. You max it out, get more crit, and obviously eight in this. Um, and then what I'll aim for next will be this one or this one. I will get both, but um, that will be what I'll be aiming for next. Everything else, um, I don't technically need. Um, this is nice, but I mostly went for the stuff that didn't have minion stuff in it because I'm just straight up me, right? Just, Peer build. Bear. <laughs> Bear muscle. Lastly, I just want to talk about gear. You want to aim for stuff that give you crit and stun. That's mostly what you want to go for. I got lucky with this amulet, right? Um, it gives me crit if I haven't done any crit recently. It's guaranteed. But I'm just going to remove it. Uh, I have like 29 base, which is not bad, right? It's pretty good. And, um, but yeah, those are the main stats you actually want to go for. Just crit, damage, and stun. And if you could get Life Leech on hit, that would be great. So um, just just going over that. You want to dual wield. Um, probably want a fast weapon on the main one. I like using daggers and stuff. You can use swords and axes. You can only put sword and axes here at dual wield. Just be aware of that. Um, and yeah, enjoy some of the clips that I've been doing with my, with my runs. <laughs> Poison. At least it's not poison, bro. Yeah, shock though, right? Yeah, I'd rather deal with that than poison, to be honest. Where's this falling blood the pool coming from? Oh, this thing. I see. So this thing was the one that's throwing freaking balls at me. Alright, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video on my build. Uh, let me know what comments and maybe skills that you find may find helpful that I may miss. Maybe it helped my build. Who knows? Um, I do stream on Twitch, so twitch.tv slash Vincente. And if you guys want to play or down a party or whatever, just let me know, all right? Just join the chat. With that, later days.